just going to do a very short lightning talk. I want to share with you some uh, lessons learned from our cloud camps. And um, this is one that I gave at uh, an IBM conference not too long ago. And what I want to share with you is that we have somewhat of a problem in that the word cloud computing is actually starting to become less and less useful. I've seen more and more people talking about this over time. And since I've been having this discussion with people about what is cloud computing, just simply trying to educate people uh, for the past three years, I think I have a pretty good grasp of it. Um, and part of the problem stems from the fact that we have a pretty good definition by NIST. And how many of you have heard of NIST? OK, a lot of you. Good. So they did a pretty good job of coming up with the definition of cloud computing about two years ago. And here it is. Um, the problem is it's not very specific. Um, it's hard to measure some of these things. And on top of that, I, I, it was two years ago. And I, at the time, I thought it was pretty good. But quite frankly, I think uh, they made it a little bit more complicated than they needed to. Furthermore, you can tell they really weren't going for a consumer-oriented definition of cloud computing when you have to go to their website and download a Word document to get it. Clearly, this is not something they're just trying to make available to everybody and easily, although I think they probably would like to. Um, but I think they were targeting more like big enterprises and government organizations, not all of us. So what I did is I worked on uh, how can we come up with something that's a little bit simpler, measurable, and uh, uh, that you can measure, and that is actually meaningful. And I came up with, um, over time, this is something that happened to me over a period of over 100 cloud camps. And what happened is after my 20th cloud camp, somebody said, Dave, we're having all of this discussion about what cloud computing is, but why don't you tell us what cloud computing is? Well, over time, um, what kind of evolved was this, these four characteristics, which are, number one, on demand. OK, that seems fair enough. But what I mean by that is you should be able to go to the service via your website and sign up for it without having to call or wait for the vendor to go set something up. Okay, if they got to go touch something or configure something, in my opinion, not cloud computing. Second thing is, it should be self-service. So once your company or organization goes and sets up the account, then you should be able to provision users and add new features, again, without having to wait. And most of them actually do that pretty well, because that's a lot of effort on their part. Number three, it should be scalable. So that as you start to use it and add users and add features, you don't uh, get a phone call or an email saying, sorry, uh, you've used up all of our capacity you can't use anymore. And number four, it should be measurable. Because the whole point of cloud computing is to be able to remove uh, the physical and human um, limitations so that you can grow your corporation or your product or your company um, and remove those limitations, those hurdles, so your company can be more agile and grow as you need. Uh, and as, if you want to do that, you need to be able to, you need to know that the service that you thought was being provisioned actually did in fact happen. And that's the only way to do that is to get some sort of measurement back. Now the reason why I think this is important is that I think cloud computing is a very important shift in the way we, we use uh, technology. And the reason why I think it's an important shift is we're moving from a technology where we're kind of hands-on and we manually verify that things are happening to uh, an industry movement where we can tell it what we want to have happen. And then when it needs to happen, it self-provisions and takes care of itself for, for, for you. And in order for this to happen, we're going to need APIs. And if you were to put an API in front of each one of these characteristics, then I think we finally get to what cloud computing is, is about. And that is not only removing your vendor from being in the way, but actually removing yourself. Because through APIs, you can actually have your business process inside of your company go out, find the right service, on demand, provision itself, add users, add features, scale up, do the service that you require, scale back down, turn off the features, and actually even completely remove and turn off the account if you'd like, get back the measurements, and the business process can then continue on, and you've removed the human being from being involved in a hopefully uh, tedious task. And I think that's what we're trying to achieve here. So anyway, this is something that uh, I've been working on. It's kind of just a hobby. It's not like any sort of um, you know, standard or anything like that. But I thought I'd just share it with you as sort of a result of all of the 
hundreds of conversations I've had about cloud computing. Okay, that's my lightning talk.